I'm going to be talking through my recommended error press technique. Now this is a technique that I think will be a great default technique. You may want to vary from this, you might want to do other things, I would recommend this. James Hoffman released the ultimate AeroPress recipe. So today, we're gonna use it. We're gonna try it, we're gonna brew it. Then we're going to compare it to the World AeroPress Championship, because that's fun. But first, let's take a moment to stop and celebrate this moment. Now, if you stumbled on this video and you have no idea who James Hoffman is, well, I don't feel qualified to tell you who he is, but he is definitely one of the most influential people in coffee today. And recently, the people have been asking him to make an AeroPress recipe. Finally, 2021, he released the ultimate AeroPress recipe in five videos. What a legend. A legend. Today, I thought it'd be fun to try out this recipe, celebrating the fact that it was released and then comparing it to the World Championship recipe from 2019. Why 2019? Well, 2020, we didn't have a championship because of well, the world situation. So we're gonna try it out, compare it to the current reigning championship recipe and see how great it is. Now, this shouldn't be taken too seriously or too literally because taste is so subjective and what I like, you might not like and vice versa. But we're just having some fun. We're just hanging out, making some coffee and I'm gonna link both of the recipes down in the description below if you wanna check any of these out. Let's brew some coffee. Okay, so today we're gonna to start off with the 2019 World AeroPress Championship current reigning recipe. James Hoffman came out with an ultimate AeroPress recipe that is very simple. It's very repeatable. It's very easy. That's a really nice thing when you're brewing coffee daily. This on the other hand is a championship recipe. It's meant to wow some judges. And so you're gonna get a very different style of brew in a recipe like this. Some people might brew this every single day. I just don't find myself in that minority. This one uses 30 grams of coffee, a much larger dose than Hoffman suggested 11 grams. And so you can already tell this is gonna be completely different, but we're not gonna change anything because that wouldn't be fair. We're gonna do the recipes as prescribed and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts. Let's get into this. Now what's really interesting about this is Hoffman really debunked a lot of myths within the AeroPress recipes. If you haven't seen those videos, like stop watching this and come back to this later. You gotta go watch them. And then we wait. Now the thing with this recipe is it really wants you to let it cool down to about 60 degrees Celsius before you drink it. So while it's cooling, we're gonna brew James Hoffman's recipe. Like I mentioned, we're gonna do 11 grams of coffee, which is what James asked us to do. And with this recipe, you wanna grind very fine, like almost espresso fine, just a little coarser. Now with James's recipe, this is so easy. It doesn't use the inverted method. You don't need to pre-rinse the filter. You just put it on your cup and then you put your coffee in there. Now with this recipe, you do want the water as hot as possible. So right off boil, you wanna pour this in and you want 200 grams of water right off boil into your AeroPress. This one is very bold. It's very big. Like when I drink this, that is a cup of coffee that will wake you up in the morning. Like, I don't know if I could drink that every single day. I mean, maybe if you like your coffee incredibly strong, this coffee is that. Let's try out Mr. Hoffman's. I think this is very expected. This is a wonderful cup of coffee. I mean, both of these are amazing cups of coffee. This, I don't think this is a championship recipe. Maybe, I, I'm not a judge, but this doesn't scream big, bold in your face, like this one does. James Hoffman's ultimate recipe, in my opinion, is a wonderful coffee for the everyday. And so if you have an AeroPress and you wanna brew a great cup of coffee at home, this, this is a great, great recipe. Is it the only recipe? Probably not. One recipe doesn't do justice for every single coffee. Most anticipated cup of coffee, 2021, 2020, 2019. Cheers, Mr. Hoffman. We love, we appreciate you. Here's to a great cup of coffee and all that you do for this amazing community. You're the best. 
I'm gonna be giving away one of these arrow presses to one of my Patreons. So if you want a chance to win that, link is down in the description. We've got a wonderful growing community there and it's a great way to help support the channel if you're interested in that. If you like this video, be sure to hit a like down below. It does help this video out. And for more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. It does help out the channel. What do you think? Have you tried this recipe? If you tried this recipe, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Have you compared it to other recipes? Is this something that you're going to continue to brew in the future? I would love to have the comments down below as a conversation on this amazing new recipe from Mr. James Hoffman. In the meantime, continue to brew great coffee, continue to brew at home. Peace. We will see you guys in the next video.